We will turn now to Los Angeles County, which has been particularly hard hit by the COVID-19. Estimated that approximately one in three people there have been infected with the virus since the start of this pandemic. That's right, but there is good news. This month, with the average number of new cases in the county dropping from about 15,000 per day to less than half of that. And here to update us on how things are on the front lines is emergency room physician at LA County USC Medical Center, Dr. Arika Flores Uribe. Thank you so much for being with us, doctor. And we know that LA County's numbers have shown those signs of improvement we just uh, talked about recently. Does that reflect what you're seeing there in the emergency room? The downtrend in the numbers have definitely been a sigh of relief for many of us on the front line. From the emergency room, we've we've seen this difference. We felt this difference as well. I work at LAC USC Medical Center and I take care of patients in the community there. And LAC USC Medical Center is one of the largest emergency departments in the country. We have over 100 ER beds. So in the winter or in December when we had a very high surge, we actually converted sections, large sections of our ER into places where we can take care of COVID positive patients. In the last several weeks, we've been able to convert those areas back so that we're taking care of all the other emergencies that are coming through our doors. In California, we know that those stay at home orders were lifted on Monday and on Friday, people will begin to outdoor dine again. What do you think about the decision to ease California's restrictions? I can share a little bit about what we see in terms of trends in the emergency department. We have seen that when there are larger gatherings or holidays where people come together, we see numbers go up in the emergency department. During this time, it's gonna be really critical that we all do our part. We have capacity to be able to maintain all of the infection prevention behaviors, like staying six feet away from one another, wearing a face covering, washing our hands, uh, frequently. It's going to be really important uh, while we roll out the vaccine, as this is going to take some time for us to vaccinate all of our community members, that we continue to, make, to do those practices and continue to stay home as much as possible. Um, we can see, and this is a concern for me from the emergency department, that if we're not diligent in that way, we could see the numbers go up again. Uh, and one last thing here, you tell us 75% of the patients you see are black or Latinx. Mm -hmm. What are the challenges you continue to see when it comes to keeping that community safe and, and healthy, but also in terms of getting that community vaccinated? It is one of the unique um, reasons why I work at uh, LA County or Los Angeles County USC Medical Center and for the Department of Health Services. Our patient population is very diverse and three out of four are communities of color. We know that these communities have been most impacted and that's what I see in the emergency department. We know that the black and African community in LA County has two times greater mortality compared to the white population. And for the Latinx community, that's three times higher than our white populations. There have been social inequities that have led to mistrust uh, during this time it's going to be really important that we do everything that we can to ensure that we're opening those conversations with our population and answer any questions that may come up from LA County Health Services our workforce also comprises or makes up our community and we've been able to vaccinate almost 17,000 workforce members. We have started vaccinating our patients as of last week and we're doing everything um, that we can to make sure that we're answering the questions and opening up the dialogues for those who may have questions. Dr. Erica Flores Uribe, thank you so much for all that you do and we certainly appreciate your time here today as well. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.